Yeah, a lot of people like yourself, Brian, excited about our freshy, freshy pow pow. And we're dealing with a lot of new snow we're waking up to this morning, uh, but we're still not out of the woods in terms of our snow potential today. Bottom line, check watch out conditions before you travel. And we're expecting anywhere between four and nine inches of new snow today on top of what the past is saw overnight. Six inches new snow at Snoqualmie. Uh, Stevens, the big winner overnight with 20 plus inches. Eight for our friends at Crystal, nothing for Mission Ridge, and six inches over at Mount Baker. Drive carefully over the passes. Chains required Stevens to quality passes this morning, and radar is showing us that the snow, it's ongoing. It's persisting, especially along Stevens Pass right now. Heavy mountain snow tapering later on this afternoon. We'll still see some snow showers. They just won't be quite as intense as what we've seen overnight. Uh, in the lower elevations, a convergence zone happening today and tomorrow. And where these zones set up shop, there could be some cloudy skies and along with those showers. Meanwhile, sun breaks for others, including the straight Olympic Kitsap peninsulas and the coast. There could even be a couple rumbles of thunder and strikes of lightning. South sound of the coastal beaches today, brief and minor lowland snow, a possibility late tonight and into early tomorrow morning. So yeah, we're busy here in the weather center. Futurecast noon today. Those convergence zones still dealing with lowland rain and mountain snow. Again, as we head into the lunch hour, three o'clock, some spots seeing sunshine, others including King County. That convergence zone is ongoing and there could be some spots of small hail along with the rain. The chance for that continuing into six o'clock tonight and watch out in the pink colors through 11 p.m. Rain, snow mix, maybe even some small hail. Uh, along with our showers later on tonight and into early tomorrow morning. High temps today, mid to upper 40s. This is going to be balmy compared to the very frigid temps we've got on tap for later on this week. More on that in a moment. But here's a glance at midnight tonight, that rain snow mix ongoing. I think we've got the best possibility for snowflakes overnight in parts of Snohomish and King counties. I'm not expecting snow accumulations in the lowlands so far. If anything sticks, it should melt off pretty quickly. Still a couple pops of flurries through 7 a.m. tomorrow. And by noon, a lot of those showers are starting to really peter out and really wrap up too. So tomorrow, President's Day, we're expecting breezy conditions into the North Sound. Wind advisory in effect. Overnight temps dropping in a big way. Low 20s in early Wednesday morning. More on that coming up next. Now back to you.